The Operon Integrated Shoulder Chair Accessory for the D850 and D820. The Operon Integrated Shoulder Chair offers optimum surgical access to the patient's shoulder area. The patient weight capacity of the shoulder chair is 500 pounds. To use the shoulder chair, use the slide button on the hand pendant to slide the table all the way towards the head. With the table in the locked position, remove the head section and the back section. Ensure the safety latches are retracted on the shoulder chair connectors. Slide the connectors of the shoulder chair fully onto the table spars where the back section was previously connected. Rotate the knob of the safety latch counterclockwise to engage the latch. The shoulder panels on the left and right side are removable for optimum access to the shoulder area. To remove the panels, turn the top and bottom panel latches down to the unlocked position. Hold the handle with one hand and lift the locking pin up. Then slide the panel straight back to remove. You can now access and manipulate the patient's joint during surgery. To insert the panel once again, slide it onto the track and the panel will lock into place. Then turn the top and bottom panel latches to locked positions. The head brace gives the surgeon total positioning control of the patient's head for the procedure. To operate the head system, there are three adjustable and locking handles, two for the double ball joint positioning and one for the slide and lock control. To position the patient, start with the head system locked in straight flat position. Leave the slide locking knob in loose position so that when the chair is raised or lowered, the head section will slide. Remove the head and chin straps and place the patient on the table. Note that the head and chin straps are designed for single use only. Once anesthesia is administered, strap the patient's forehead and chin to the head section. Loosen the top ball joint behind the patient's head. Position the patient's head to the required position and then lock all three knobs. Note that it's important to secure the chin strap prior to the procedure so the patient does not slip down in the chair during surgery. The head brace is padded on the inside and cut out around the ears for patient comfort. The lateral brace is always placed on the affected side. To position the lateral brace, remove the shoulder panel on the operative side and slide the brace into the clamps. Adjust the lateral brace to fit the individual patient's size. Lock tight by turning the locking handles. The lateral brace is height adjustable. The strap secure the arm to the board. Once the procedure is complete, remove the lateral brace and insert the shoulder panel once again. Straighten the patient's head and loosen the slide locking knob and top ball joint to allow the head to move as you return the table to the level position. Once the patient has been transferred from the table, loosen the locking knobs on each side of the shoulder chair. Depress the safety latch and then remove the chair from the spars. For more information about the integrated shoulder chair accessory for the D850 and D820, or to order replacement parts, please contact Berktold Technical Support at 1 800 243 5135, option 2, or visit us at berktold.biz.